Reactions of saturated hydrocarbons, as in only containing single bonds where each carbon has the maximum amount of hydrogen atoms attached as possible, these do not undergo very many reactions because they lack that reactive double or triple bond like the alkenes and alkynes. They do however undergo combustion reactions and substitution reactions, but we'll focus on substitution. The idea is that a hydrogen atom is replaced by another atom or group of atoms. Most commonly is the bromine or chlorine. So in methane, an unsaturated hydrocarbon, bromine in the form of bromine water, one of the atoms will substitute one of the hydrogens forming bromomethane. However, this reaction will only occur with copious amounts of UV light. In fact, one of the most common ways to distinguish between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons is based on this property. If you take a sample of cyclohexane and cyclohexene and place equal amounts into two separate test tubes, both samples should be clear. Right now the most obvious difference is the presence of that reactive double bond. On a side note, we use these cyclic forms because hexane and hexene are really volatile and you don't really want those poisonous fumes getting into your nose. Anyways, if bromine water is added to both ensuring that the hydrocarbons are in excess and you shook them up to ensure they react, this should be a result. But why? Cyclohexane has not reacted with the bromine water as UV light is required for a substitution reaction to take place. Therefore, the orange hue of the bromine water will remain. The lower level is a denser bromine water and on top the less dense cyclohexane. In the cyclohexene example, the unsaturated hydrocarbon, the orange hue of the bromine water has faded to clear as each bromine atom has attached itself across the double bond. After all, it is the bromine responsible for the colour. Now a couple of notes though. Bromine water is the bromine molecule dissolved in water and exists in an equilibrium as HBr and BrOH. It's actually the BrOH that gets added, but for simplistic sake, we'll use the bromine molecule in the addition reaction of cyclohexene. Also, if you shook up the mixture of cyclohexane and bromine water, and you let that settle again, you'd find that the colour which was originally at the bottom would have shifted to the top and changed to a more cordial orange colour. This is because the bromine as a molecule is non-polar and should more readily dissolve in a non-polar substance, this being your cyclohexane top layer, not your lower water polar layer. 